Hello there and welcome to Wicks Way. And today we have the car that we need. Say hello to the 2017 Acura NSX. I'll explain myself in a little bit as to why this is the car that we need. But first, of course, numbers. 573 horsepower and 476 pound-feet of torque from a 3.5 liter V6 twin turbo with three electric motors. So with the two in the front and the third one already attached to the actual gasoline engine, all three of those together make 109 pound-feet of torque, just together alone. And top speed is 191 miles per hour, 191, and it has a nine-speed automatic. The tires, which th this part, when I, when I saw the car was kind of interesting, the front tires are 245 and the rear is 305 and it's staggered. So in the front it's 19, in the rear it's 20. And so I was kind of hesitant as far as the handling goes. And I wasn't hesitant after about two corners anymore. <laughs> Exterior. This car looks really striking. And pictures and everything I've seen, of you know, videos and other reviews, it looks kind of cool, but very plasticky in a way. And that's only in pictures. In person, complete opposite effect. I am in love with how striking this is, with how just subtle and and mean at the same time. It's very, it's, it's a really good looking car. The wheels on it too, especially when they're, you know, stuffed behind those massive carbon ceramic brakes. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a damn good look. And it's actually functional too. These pillars on the side are actually aerodynamic. They're slits that go through. Now with the interior, it's very subtle. There's Alcantara, there's carbon fiber, there's leather, and all in all, like mix it all together, and it's, it's everything balances each other out. Like there's a little bit of carbon fiber here, a little bit down here, and leather around it. Carbon fiber right above the instrument cluster, but there's leather around that. There's Alcantara on the seats and on the glove box, and it's, it's all, it's very, very even with each other and it's done appropriately. Nothing to where it's, it's a complete overload either. It, it's just, it's, God, it's really nice. As striking as it looks outside, it's just as comfortable and subtle and appreciative as it is on the inside. Now, let, let me explain what I mean by this is the car that we need. In the 90s, the NSX, it, you know, it smoked the Ferrari, it smoked Lamborghini, and not only just on the racetrack, but in actually drivability, reliability, and didn't have to sacrifice driver's needs to provide something that you could really just daily, a daily supercar. And it scared him, scared him half to death. You know, they realized that, ah, ah you know, we're, we're losing customers because they want to be able to actually drive these cars. <laughs> well, that's what the old NSX did, but that wasn't its purpose. Its purpose was to be the car that we needed and will always continue to do. That's what the NSX is for, to be the car that we need. And what we needed now was hybrid technology, or like a P1, LaFerrari, 918, all those stuffed inside something under $200,000. Because once it starts to actually trickle down from this mark, yes, 200,000, too expensive. Easy, bud. Yes, it's, it's a high price tag. It's what, 150 something thousand dollars starting out with the NSX but it's a flagship. So what it does is all this technology that's incorporated here will be slowly trickled down the line of the Acura vehicles and spread among to the other cars as well. You'll eventually have sports cars that will have an engine and a motor. Fantastic, that's awesome. That's what we need. And that's what the NSX will always provide is, is what we need. God, I mean the technology in this this coincides with the handling. The handling is unreal, absolutely unreal. Now the suspension on the Acura NSX, the suspension is all aluminum. The entire thing is aluminum. Up front is double wishbone and in the rear is independent multi-link suspension. And man, is it confidence inspiring. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This handles better than a Ferrari. I'm saying it, I'm saying it right now. This thing does handle better than a Ferrari. A Ferrari 488. 
a Ferrari 488 and a 458, the rear end feels really light, really light. Not confidence inspiring at all. You have to know exactly where the weight is and everything like that if you really want to put it through its paces. It's, you know, uh, but this is confidence inspiring. This is damn good. Because the way, like in the corners, it just, it keeps asking for more the entire time. I have not said about another car, I haven't said this yet, because I've saved it for something that is, is completely true to it. This car drives on rails. And it really helps this car is the fact that there's two electric motors up front, which create this torque vectoring. Now, yes, we all know the symbolism and what, you know, torque vectoring. Oh, it's cool, it's great for advertising, but it's never real. It's never, ever, ever real. All they do, is they apply brake to the other wheel that needs to stop spinning as much, so they just apply some brake. With this, what they actually do with this is they use the electricity and slow the wheel down, kind of giving it an effect of, say, like a, a skid steer, where, you know, two wheels turn differently. It, it's Obviously, it's not doing that, but it gives a similar effect of it, slowing it down and letting one wheel that needs the most traction take force and accomplish the corner that you did not think you could accomplish because you came in way too hot and you thought you were going to wreck it and you thought you were going to die and if you didn't die you're really scared because then you have to explain yourself basically what i'm saying is that you know i'm not speaking from a life life experience or a recent one but this car is damn good in the corners another thing to really appreciate is the actual uh, hybrid mode you can go into full-blown electric electric driving where you can hear your own heartbeat it really it's just like now I'll whisper to you because it's so quiet yes but that's boring because we're in an SX let's go and every time you come to a corner to you know you put on the brakes or even in town you put on brakes and it does the region effect it charging the battery as you go the, the battery is charging the entire time it's this is a really good car if you're in the market and you're like, ah, maybe a McLaren, maybe a Ferrari, maybe a 911, whatever, please check this out. Because I prefer this over those. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that lightly. This car is on rails. I didn't think it was going to be this good. I had no idea it was going to be this good. So let's wrap this up. Pros and cons, 2017 Acura and SX. Pro, this is, again extremely confidence inspiring con there's some tidbits from the honda civic they made it very innovative in every other way except for the window uh window button it's kind of from a honda civic but i i, I don't care I, I god i don't care oh this car's good another pro it's the car that we need like i, I I'm, I'm serious with that no one else i think has really mentioned that or thought of it that way and uh, YouTube comments, of course, you're gonna go real crazy with that, and I don't care. Last con, I don't have one. That's That's gotta be it right there. I, that That's pretty much the last con. Huge thank you to Charlie Sokolash, the drill manager of David McDavid Acura. Really, thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, I have been absolutely blown away by this car. Please like, share, subscribe, all the usual things we ask you to do. So, until next time, thanks guys.